In this video, we will look at a few examples that will allow us to practice working with altitudes in triangles. In example A, it says, which line segment is an altitude of triangle ABC? So the first thing that you should remember is that every triangle has three altitudes because there's an altitude for every side and every angle. So in this triangle, if we think about side BC, the altitude for BC would be a line that's perpendicular to BC and goes through the opposite vertex of A. So that line is the line AB. So one altitude of this triangle is segment AB. But let's look at the other segments as well. If we think about AB as being the base, then the altitude from AB would be a line that's perpendicular to AB and goes through the point C, which is the opposite vertex. So that would be the segment BC. So BC is also an altitude of this triangle. Now the third side is side AC, and the altitude from AC would be a line that's perpendicular to AC and goes through the point B. So that is not pictured on this triangle. It would be something like this. But the important thing to remember is that DC is not an altitude. So the altitudes that we can see in this triangle are AB and BC. Let's go to example B. A triangle has angles that measure 55 degrees, 60 degrees, and 65 degrees. Where will the orthocenter be found? So if these are the three angles of a triangle, it means that this is an acute triangle because all of the angles are acute. All of the angles are less than 90 degrees. And in any acute triangle, the orthocenter will be found inside the triangle. So that would be the correct answer here. The orthocenter must be inside the triangle because it's an acute triangle. Lastly, let's look at example C. A triangle has an angle that measures 95 degrees. Where will the orthocenter be found? So if one angle is 95 degrees, no matter what the other angles are, it means it must be an obtuse triangle. And in obtuse triangles, the orthocenter is always found outside of the triangle. So as we saw in example B, if the triangle is acute, the orthocenter is inside. If the triangle is obtuse, the orthocenter is outside. The third possibility is if it's a right triangle, then the orthocenter would be on the triangle. As even though that wasn't part of this question, that's a good thing to know. Those are the three possibilities and what happens in each case.